Um, one quick shout out, which is something that um, that I find really useful, is using an example of a uh, of a content item that works for you that you've actually written yourself and including that in the prompt. So right here, we can see this Twitter thread, for example. And if we actually go behind the scenes where you can, where you or anyone else can edit your own prompt, um, I've told it, create a narrative tweet thread about the guests in this podcast in the following format. I kind of give it some instructions for what tone. And then I just give an example. I'm like, here's an example of a, one that I've written. Um, and why don't you match that tone and style? And now it's instantly able to do that. So now not only do I have a, a tweet thread, but it's actually matching what I would have written myself had I had the time. So this takes my editing process and cuts it in more than half. Um, I yeah. mean, just the amount of time it would take to draft like a really comprehensive tweet thread that matches my own style and covers a whole bunch would take me forever. And if I had a an example of this that like didn't match that style, it would almost be useless because then I would have to go write the whole thing. So like there is such a thing of AI content that isn't good, but when AI content really works, it's like absolutely incredible. And that's kind of what we're striving for is to generate the best uh, and most accurate sorts of AI content dependent on whatever it is that the end user and customer needs. And then um, Chris and Essay, as you guys were alluding to before, if we hop over here to Magic Chat, um, here I can basically just, it's it's basically like a chat GPT instance that's rigged up to all the context from my episode. So uh, I can ask for anything I want. I can get as creative as I want. And if I nail a prompt that I'm like, this could be useful for every piece of content that I bring within into this space in the future, um, I can then, you know, I can hit this, I can hit a button here, which says, save as prompt. And that means for everyone in the future, you'll kind of see it on that last page that I had run. So this is really useful for if you want to create a one off content piece that you're like, I only need it for this uh, episode, I never need it again, you can write that here, and you can do it. But if you're like, Oh, you know what, this is really cool. I, I like having 10 lessons covered in this, you know, event five words max for each one with a 20 word description. And I'm like, that's something I want to repeat every single time. I just hit the save button and then I'm going to have that for every one of my episodes without having to go back and rewrite it, um, et cetera. Um, and then I guess the last thing that I'd pause and kind of shout out that you guys had mentioned before, uh, I know prompting, especially in the world of AI, can be a little bit of overwhelming. So what we did was we built this section called community prompts. And what this does is it features and curates some of the prompts that everyone else um, has developed and has found success with. So you, so if you don't know where to get started, you can just click community prompts. You can read kind of what the, the content asset is, what the prompt asks for. And if you, you're like, oh, this conversation feedback thing would be really useful for me, or, oh, I really would like having a session worksheet based off all my recordings. All you have to do is click the add to space button, and then it'll instantly add it into your space. You won't have to write it. And then if you do have some tweaking you want to do later, uh, you're able to obviously edit it yourself. So, um, you know, that's a little bit about Cast Magic in two seconds. We transcribe it. We give you a whole bunch of content that you want. We give you flexibility to create additional content, and then the stuff that you really like you can uh save and tweak to your own liking so that's a little bit about how it works yeah yeah oh i think um, you want to go first oh, i mean it, it's it's i'm speechless right i mean obviously if, if you're listening right now and this is your first time actually hearing about this platform like this platform changes all aspects of what you're doing at scale it's not just about podcasting i want you to kind of think about the use case analysis for this right you can kind of create books on your podcast without having to think about it, right? You can create newsletters. You can create so many different things and variables that today's market, you're hiring multiple people to do it. And now essentially is one platform that can take one audio file and create all these different principles and all these different content sectors in a matter of seconds. It's, I'm done. Yeah, nice. yeah I, don't even, I don't even want to know what's coming next because I feel like you've already thought of it before. Usually, I will request features or or request things for the roadmap, but you've yeah. come up with all the things that I need it for, yeah. and I feel a little bit silly for uploading content uh, when I, I can use the RSS <laughs> feed function. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, I have yeah, used I mean... Class Magic for the last uh, well, I got I got the deal on AppSumo when it when it launched, uh, yes. but yeah, I'm using it at the basic level. I need to really go into it and get better at 
prompts and yeah. uh, setting up workspaces. And there's even pages uh, in the beta. So yeah. haven't even yeah. explored that yet. No, the, so 